And South Africa's decision to grant diplomatic immunity to the Russian President Vladimir Putin for the BRICS summit has not gone down well with the U.S. lawmakers. The top American lawmakers are now demanding for the cancellation of a bilateral trade summit with South Africa, citing a deepening military relationship with Russia. The U.S. lawmakers have in fact penned this letter to the Secretary of State Anthony Blinken and the National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan. The letter asks the U.S. State Department to have second thoughts on hosting the Africa Growth and Opportunity Act Summit in Johannesburg. It also has started three incidents of South Africa's military partnership with Russia in the last year. The lawmakers have argued that the holding of the 2023 AGOA Forum in South Africa could have been, of course, seen as an endorsement of South Africa's support for Russia's invasion of Ukraine. The letter has also suggested a re-evaluation of the U.S. trade ties with South Africa. And South Africa's Department of Trade and Industry has said that it does not plan on responding publicly to the letter. A spokesperson for South Africa's foreign ministry has confirmed the absence of any communique from the American side cancelling or postponing the forum. And for more on the diplomatic immunity awarded to Putin by South Africa, Vion's correspondent Calden Ong, who in fact spoke to Dr. Kingsley Makubela, the former South African ambassador to Portugal and the High Commissioner to Kenya, listening to what he had to say. South Africa can, can afford to invite, in my own view, can afford to get Putin here and not arrest him and not violate the law. Remember, the law must be implemented with some level of rationality. The Russians have made it quite clear. Uh, Dmitry Medvedev, in a statement he issued out a few weeks ago, he said anyone who may attempt to arrest Putin is a declaration of war. He even made an example to say if Germany was to do that, they would bomb Bundestag. If the president was to allow Putin to come here and explain to our courts that it was not in the best interest of the country to arrest him because it would have been a declaration of war, and South Africa is not in a position to go to war with Russia, any courts would have mercy on the president and would have an understanding. The president would have taken a rational decision by not arresting him. And that's what the courts are looking for. Any decision that is made by the executive must be rational. And given the looming threat of war, it will be rational for, the, for South Africa and for the president, not even to attempt to arrest Putin. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.